Wow, okay, um, where to start? Yesterday, absolutely crazy. Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just wanna get into everything that transpired and happened yesterday because I know you're here to see the Ace Family event, kind of, unless you watched it yesterday, and or what I did, reactions, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. This is gonna be like a reaction video to video. I made. So like I edited the video, but I wasn't able to make an intro slash outro just because, well, I mean, I'll explain that for you. Um, so I'm just gonna react to the video I made and uh, you guys will see it, I guess. So I just wanna start off. I was not able to make an intro yesterday because everyone who attended got an email the day before that gave a list of what we weren't allowed to bring into the stadium and it said cameras on there but it said like professional equipment with audio equipment, stuff like that. And I have a DSLR, I think that's how it's pronounced. I think I pronounced it wrong in the video. It's like a bigger camera and I didn't know if I was allowed to bring that in or not. So I tried reaching out to Austin using all my sources cause I have a few friends who are friends with him and I tried going to them to try to get to him to ask if I'm allowed to bring in certain equipment and I never heard anything back. So then I ended up calling the Galen Center in USC and got on the phone with them and they said I wasn't allowed to bring it in if I had one of those small like um, what are they like the Sony GX7 or AS whatever something like that like one of the small little vlogging cameras I would have been able to but since I use a bigger camera I couldn't so I had to record on my phone so I wasn't able to do that but also earlier in the day I put my outfit on that I bought yesterday and the pants didn't fit me they were too tight so I had to run to the mall exchange it um, we had to go to Kiana's, I had to come back home, I had to get some stuff, so it was like all jumbled around everywhere. There wasn't really time to film an intro either way, so that's why I'm filming it now. And then when I got home, I was just way too tired to film an outro. But without further ado, let's just get into this video, because I know that's what you guys came here for. I found out that I'm not allowed to bring my camera in, so I'm resorting to the phone, which sucks. I use a DLSR, not like the small little handheld ones, so I'm not allowed to bring that in. There were a lot of people there, guys. Like, you were about to see a scene of me walking across and having a lot of people there, and that was only like a little section. It wrapped around the entire stadium, and I even got there like an hour, hour and a half before they started letting people in, so I can't even imagine what it was like closer to the actual time. Do a time lapse of walking. Do you have Deja's number? Do you have Deja's number? No. Uh, I was gonna say, try texting her. What's the popo? keep pausing and interrupting but this was crazy I was in line and I heard someone call my name and I turned around and wow uh, my first like fan approached me I hope you're watching this so you can see yourself in there guys if I ever see you in public or you see me don't be scared to come up talk to me ask to take a picture it's funny he came up to me and I asked him to take a picture before he asked me I just met my first so man if you see he's always comments down below yeah. follows me on Instagram yeah. remember I gave him the vice in the QFA that one time it's been working it's unbelievable meeting it's really you awesome where's your seat you uh, I believe it's yeah, like right here. my bad bro Section uh, 218. 218. Yeah, we'll no. be on the second floor. Oh, dang. First floor, she's on the second floor. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how I can sit next to each other. Oh, you but, guys got separate tickets? Yeah, oh. I had to get them one at a time. It wasn't working when I was oh. getting all the ones. Yeah. Well, hopefully it works out, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so if you guys remember back when I got the tickets, I had to buy them one at a time, and Kiana and I's seats were not together. I was on the first level, and she was on the second level. So I, we were kind of like stressed out a little bit on how we were gonna try to figure out how we can sit next to each other because I didn't want to leave her alone with 9,000 other people in the stadium that kind of made her feel uncomfortable. So I didn't want to just like kick her to the curb and let her be. And I also didn't want to be alone because she came to support me. So, but don't worry, we figured it out. Um, let's just get on with the video. If 
if you guys didn't know, that is the guy who sings the Ace Family intro song, you know, like the someone told me that was like that guy. I don't know his name, but later in the event, he sang it and the whole crowd went crazy and sang along with him. Holy shit. Excuse my language. A lot of people look down upon YouTubers. But it's crazy because YouTubers sold out an arena. That's actually true. A lot of people in society don't think that being a YouTuber is a six, like you can make a living off being a YouTuber and or be successful, but you know, people follow their dreams. It's like the same thing as acting just online, like social media influencers. Austin, if you ever watch this or Catherine, thank you guys for being such an inspiration and being able to prove to the world and people alike that you can transcend from YouTube and make a living, sell out arenas, or other YouTubers, you know, the KSI, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Deji, like actually entering into a real sport and just stuff like that. So thank you all the big YouTubers who are paving the path for all of us smaller YouTubers to kind of grow up in. You guys are an army. It is truly a blessing to have every single one of you a part of the family. So, I mean, the night kicked off with, uh, I mean, there was like some games and stuff with some fans, but the night kicked off with Austin and FaZe Rugby in the three-point contest. Austin's, I mean, you guys know, he played in college, so he's really good. Come on, guys, make some noise, I wanna hear y'all. Whoa, where are you going? It went on to Austin and Ricegum doing their one-on-one, and that shot you actually just saw was the game-winning shot that Austin hit against Ricegum. Ricegum's Let's just take a second to admire like how beautiful Kiana's eyes are. Like, I'm trying to look at them because the camera's in front of the way. But yeah, they're it's just like absolutely gorgeous. They went on to do their like their actual basketball game and it was pretty cool because it was a whole bunch of YouTubers and friends of Austin's and Rice Gums. I think one of the cooler parts was that Juju Smith was there. He's a wide receiver in the NFL. So that's cool to see like an actual professional athlete coming down and playing with YouTubers. Currently leaving the Ace Family game. How was it? It was really loud. <laughs> it was good. It was really, really good. Uh, Rice Gum. I thought his name was Gump. <laughs> Rice Gum was actually pretty good. Like, surprisingly, I was very shocked, but it was a pretty close game. Towards the end of the game, I saw someone on the court with, sorry, oh. with v VIP tickets, and I know them, so I'm going to try to text him and ask how he got VIP tickets because I've known him since I was I've known him since I was 14. He used to be my coach in football and then we talked here and then on out. So I'm gonna message him and see how 
he knows them and how I could possibly get in contact. So I'll keep you updated with that, but yeah, I don't know, it's pretty crazy. I still want to thank the Ace family in person for you know everything that they did for me and my channel. They told my manager at work that they saw my thank you video, but it's different being able to thank someone in person than in video, and it's been like two and a half months. So I know it's kind of like, why are you still trying to thank them? It's just because it's not even like from a fan point where I'm like, oh my God, I want to see the Ace family. It's just like, thank you for everything you've done you know, I'm able to like smile and talk to you guys and live out my dream. And this next clip you're about to see is in part because of the Ace family. And I just want to be able to thank them for giving me this experience and this happiness of what's come along since that shout out. So if you're watching this, I mean, maybe you are, maybe you're not, who knows if you are, thank you. I'd still just want to, I don't know, see you for a minute. Just thank you guys and just share my happiness with you. And then that'll that'll be it. I mean, I I don't know. I just want to be able to thank you. Kiana and I were leaving the parking garage, and it's funny because she was changing in the car. She was changing her pants, and these this family. It was a mom, two girls, and a dad. They like turned around and they pointed to the car, and Kiana and I both thought they were pointing to her changing. So we were like, oh, sh like oh shit, they saw you changing or whatever. And then one of them goes, that's Alec, Alec, and they all started going Alec, and it shocked me. So, I mean, you'll see this next clip, but I'll explain a little more after. Oh my god, that's so funny. Hold on, Hi. Hi, how are you guys? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, I would have continued to record, but they wanted to come up and take a picture. It just sucks they had to take a picture in front of my crappy car, but I don't... I don't know who you guys were because with the first fan I met, I was able to take a picture with him from my phone. So if you guys are watching this, please email me or direct message me on Instagram, Alexan underscore, and send me that picture. I want to, every time I meet one of you guys I, and we take pictures, I want to get a collection of every single picture. It'd be cool I can make like a little book of it or something and write the date. I don't know. It was fun going to the Ace Family event, but for me, it was more fun ex like experiencing people who knew who I was. The 4th of July is coming up. I'm having some friends come over for a little pool party. I'm not going to be able to swim all too much, obvious reasons, but I'm going to do some cool scenery shots, B-roll shots. I have some challenges coming up this week, and the next episode of Product Watch Live comes out on Tuesday, July 3rd, 7 p.m., and yeah, guys, with that being said, I've been talking way too long, and my mouth is starting to hurt, my throat is getting dry, and, um, you know, with that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.